in the Ocala National Forest in North Central Peninsular Florida looking for dung beetles today. We're going to spend the day driving up and down the roads of the forest looking for any type of dung we can. Coyote dung, bobcat dung, bear dung, you name it. So why don't you come along and see what we find. <laughs> But the nice thing about these, this habitat is the sand makes for very easy digging. The beetles wouldn't be here if it weren't for the sand. They're able to really do well in these habitats because they're all digging scarabs and they can get way down in the ground out here. Okay, so I've dug down about a foot and a half here. It should be even deeper than the tunnel. So I'm going to go ahead and start breaking down the side here. side of the tunnel wall. hear it. That recent activity we saw might have been the beetle actually leaving instead of digging deeper. Normally once you get down to where it's at you can hear when you make contact with the elytra. Nope, nobody home. So, let's see what's down this hole. It goes off to an angle. So again, it's possibly a cricket, maybe a eucanthus. Anything else underneath here? Here's another, no. Okay, let's go down parallel to it. It's not very deep. and break the wall. Oh, hey, beautiful. Now, now this is Phaneus igneus floridanus. This is one of the most brilliant scarabs in Florida. Now this is an endemic subspecies, floridanus, but out here at the Ocala National Forest, they tend to be a coppery color, very, very coppery color like this individual, as opposed to other floridanus in the rest of the state where the elytra are a shining green instead of this shining copper. That's a score, guys. <clears throat> so I think uh, I'll probably grab my camera and take a couple pictures of him too. We found another piece of scat in the road here with apparently fresh beetle activity going on underneath it. And you'll notice in the scat there's actually a piece of a beetle elytron in it. So it uh, might be an awfully short food chain here. An extensive hole. Although not too terribly deep. Alright, let's go for it. That's probably about as far as we need to go. Okay, let's resume. Let's see who's down here. This is an awfully big hole, but Profundus is relatively widespread. Young eye, this species, is only known from right out here. So young eye differs from Profundus mainly in its darker coloration, 
with a greenish tint to it. Profundus tends to be purplish or bluish as opposed to that greenish tint. Clean up. Okay, well here's a pile of bear scat that's recently been driven over. Now as long as we can find the tunnel, we should be able to excavate whoever's responsible for this pushing. Looks like the tunnel's right there. And it's not very deep. At least it doesn't seem to be. One got inside my light fixture. See him crawling around in there? Oh, How about good. that one? Yeah. Oh yeah, wonder how we did that. For the way these beetles dig down into the sand, they actually have remarkably fragile elytra. They're very easy to break if you're not careful at this point. There we go. Oh, that's an awfully bright, shiny green one. So this is a relatively old pile of bear scat. You can see it's been weathered, the rain has rounded the edges, and in fact there's quite a few ants on it, so there's probably an ant nest right around here somewhere. But one of the noteworthy things is this shiny bluish object right here. That's the elytron of Peltotrupi's young eye, one of the beetles that we're after today that is endemic only to the Ocala National Forest. And it's broken up and it's within the bear scat, which seems to indicate that the bears are feeding on these beetles. Uh, it's unknown how exactly they're catching the beetles, if they're especially seeking them out or if they're only finding them by chance. But uh, this is not the first pile of bear scat we found today that's had beetle elytra in it. And it's quite regular to find uh, up, up to four or five beetle elytra in one pile of bear dung out here. So it's, uh, it's really something we want to take a closer look at because it's, uh, we really want to see how the bears are getting the beetles. <laughs> Here's some more old coyote scat, all in a big, big, big tunnel right underneath it. Oh, it's very shallow. No, it goes off to an angle. But it's still not a very deep tunnel. Excellent. Can't tell who it is yet. Looks like another Phaneus igneus. It looks copperish. Yes. See it? See the elytron sticking out there? That's right, he knows we're coming to get him. There we go. This one's just a little bit greener on the elytron than the last one. It's not just a complete strong coppery cast. It's got a slight greenish tint to it as you turn it. These, these are favorite food for burrowing owls and a whole lot of other animals out here eat them as well. Well we're here just southwest of Ocala, Florida in a nice turkey oak sand hill habitat. Um, looking for various things. One of the things we're looking for is a, a different species of dung beetle. We're looking for Mycotrupes gagei. Now, one of the neat things about Mycotrupes gagei is they have a species of fly, a sparrocerid, that is phoretic, meaning that they ride around on the beetle itself. They even actually go down into the burrows when the beetle burrows. It's a female. She doesn't have the little tiny horn that males have. Yeah, there's a fly right there right on the back running around on the beetle. That's the Sphericerid that's phoretic on these beetles. They just ride around on the beetle waiting for the beetle to find dung. So I went ahead and cleaned off this Mycotrupes gagei so you could uh, see the details of its markings. This is a really special beetle. It's endemic to Peninsular Florida and it's endemic only to uh, a series of about seven or eight uh, contiguous counties. So it's a, it's a highly restricted beetle. Um, there's five species in the genus Mycotrupes, all of which are flightless, and that sort of explains why some of them are, are endemic to very, very small areas, is because they're, they're just not able to disperse. Even a river can be a barrier for Mycotrupes. 